political exile shot dead in London. Good evening. The president of the Seychelles, Mr. Albert René, was accused tonight of being behind the murder of a political opponent in London today. Mr. Gerard Warreau, who was said to have organized an unsuccessful coup in the Seychelles three years ago, was shot dead in broad daylight at his home in Edgware. The former president of the Seychelles, Sir James Mancom, who was overthrown by Mr. René, claimed it was a political assassination. Seychelles government representatives in London denied any blame for the killing. Gerard Warreau lived for the day he'd returned to the Seychelles as his people's leader. He died, say his friends, because he'd continually plotted and schemed the downfall of the present government. This morning, the leader of the Seychelles resistance movement was leaving his home in North London when he was confronted by a man with a machine pistol. There was a burst of shots and Mr. Warrow fell dying in the driveway. At least one bullet went through a neighbour's window. A Scotland Yard's anti-terrorist branch took over the inquiry. Exiles in Britain immediately accused the Seychelles leader, President René, of ordering a political execution. An exiled politician from the Seychelles was shot dead in London this morning. Gerard Warreau was thought to be the leader of the resistance movement against the island's left-wing government of Albert René. He came to power in 1977 after toppling Warreau's friend James Mancom. The gunman was waiting across the road as Mr Warreau came out of his front door. He stepped forward, spraying him with bullets. Then, leaving his victim dying, he made his escape. There were practically no witnesses. The police don't even know for sure if he had an accomplice with a car. There's no reliable description. Police scientists came in this afternoon, but it's the anti-terrorist branch who've taken over the case. Mr. Huaro was a prime political target. He was a leading member of the Seychelles National Movement. That's the exiled opposition to the government of the Seychelles. And he was implicated four years ago in an abortive mercenary coup there. There'd been several attempts on his life. This one seems to have been a well-planned and efficient assassination. Certainly the police have no doubt that it was a political killing. They're treating his shooting in Edgware, North London, as a political assassination. Mr. Waro was one of the leaders of the exiled Seychelles opposition to the current President Albert René and is believed to have been implicated in a coup attempt against President René in 1981. Sarah Spiller reports from the scene of today's shooting. The gunman had been lying in wait for Gerard Huaro on the corner of this quiet North London street. It was 10 in the morning and there were few people about. It's believed the victim was in his front drive when the gunman fired from the opposite side of the road. The 34-year-old man was hit by several shots. When police arrived about 10.30, he was still alive and was rushed to Edgware General Hospital. Mr. Warrow died later on in the morning of shotgun wounds to his head and body. He's now thought to have been the victim of a political assassination and detectives from the anti-terrorist squad have been called in. Well, the fact that it's being dealt with by the anti-terrorist branch at Scotland Yard uh, obviously suggests that there, there is some political background to the shooting. Forensic experts have been examining cartridges found in the front garden and anti-terrorist squad detectives say they're now looking for a dark-skinned man in connection with the murder. In an effort to find out who might be behind today's killing, we've been speaking to two of Mr. Waro's political colleagues here in London. There is no doubt it is the, uh, uh, Mr. René, the uh, Marxist president of Seychelles. Only last month, he, uh, his party congress passed a resolution to the effect that he should take action against uh, enemies of the revolution in Seychelles and abroad. We live in a very ruthless world, and uh, we know for a fact that uh, the house of many exile groups were broken into and we've been uh, bugged by agents of the Iranian government. Now, if uh, they are prepared to pay agents to burg our houses, then they should be able to do a lot of more. What's your reaction to the news? But as you can see, I'm shocked and I'm sad and I'm very disturbed because, uh, you know, once madness starts, you don't know where it stops. A spokesman in London for the Seychelles government has denied that they had anything to do with today's killing. Joining me now is Charles Minel, editor of Africa Confidential. Mr Minel, do you believe those denials or do you think that Paul Chow uh, is correct in saying that President Rene is behind this? Well, judging by recent history in the Seychelles, where a lot of people have disappeared, uh, car accidents and so on, I think it's highly likely that uh, Rene's government is behind this. Uh, Rene has himself said that the leader of the opposition over here, Mr Waro, was public enemy number one. 
And so I think it's, it would be very hard to come to any other conclusion at this stage. Do you think that the opposition here in London were actually plotting a coup or a, yet another coup against President René? I think after the failure of the uh, Mike Hoare attempt, uh, they were rather wary of plotting another one. Obviously, they want to get rid of René, but um, I think they regard the government there as being so bad that it will probably give itself enough rope uh, to hang itself. Not to my knowledge, there was no coup plot, but of course one, one can't exclude it. No, I think much more likely is uh, a, a straightforward political assassination, whereby somebody is given a large amount of money and told to get on with it. 24 hours after the shooting of Gerard Warreau, anti-terrorist squad detectives were searching inside the London house where he was gunned down and interviewing his associates for clues to the killer. Meanwhile, across London, Seychellois arrive at a shrine to the